What up, Hard Squad? Today is a very, very special video. Why? Well, today I am going to begin not only the road to a million, but attempting to pull a Charizard base set holographic card in every language. Now, this package is filled with what is supposed to be never before seen Pokemon cards from what I was told. And it's from a very, very Heart Squad member that would like to remain anonymous. So to that anonymous person, thank you so much. I was about to say, leave a like for that person, but just guys, let's be very grateful and appreciative of the person that sent this stuff. If you missed yesterday's video, it was sort of a kind of celebration for hitting 900,000 subscribers, but at the same time raising awareness for all of the social injustices that are going on. If you would like more information regarding those, please, please go watch yesterday's video. And as always, Heart Squad, please remain safe. Now, you are going to enjoy this video. Like, I'm telling you, I'm so excited. I have not even seen everything on the inside. I only know about two or three of the items because that equals up two. Yay for math. All right, so we got some lovely, lovely bubble wrap. It's actually really nice. Good. Just had to do that. All right, next up, what do we got here? Ooh, this looks like a two player starter deck. Okay, very nice. So we will get into that later. What else do we have? Whoa! These are Chinese EX Legend Maker theme decks. Look at these. I've never seen these before. What about y'all? I'm curious. We're going to open up everything. Not only these two theme decks, but we'll also be opening up this two player starter deck, which I should also, frankly, just go ahead and remove it from its casing of bubble wrap. This one feels a little bit different, or it's just maybe not in... Oh, the box is just a little dinged up, but that's okay. It's what's on the inside that counts. Uh, so there it is. We'll open up, see what's on the inside of this guy. Hopefully he'll stand up. And next off, oh, here it is. Okay, you're gonna love this. Guys, you ready? This is a Chinese base set booster pack with the very, very unique red Pokemon logo. And if you saw my big uh, vintage Pokemon first edition base set haul about two weeks ago, um, it's world's biggest hidden Pokemon cards collection found and I bought it, or at least some of it. I did purchase a first edition Chinese box as well as a Korean one. And the logo is red compared to the usual yellow. I will be opening this up in attempt to pull a Charizard that will be later on. And then what are these? Oh my gosh. This is incredible. This looks like Hidden Fates, but in Chinese. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I've never opened up these, nor have I seen these before. Oh, he just gave hints at what was gonna be on the inside. So this, oh my gosh. Look at that pack art. Guys, you gotta let me know in the comment section which pack art is your favorite, Charizard or Mewtwo? We're, we're going shiny hunting today. This is gonna be Hidden Fates. And uh, oh, there's something else in here. Look, 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 look. Ulta GX Ultra Shiny Box. We're definitely going some shiny hunting today. So not only are we gonna try to pull Charizard in this guy, but in all of these packs, uh, I believe this is just in Japanese, and these are in Chinese. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you are ready. What do we start with? Obviously, saving that for a little bit later. I'm curious as I remove hair from my desk. All right, oh my gosh. All right, let's just check it out. Let's check it out. Um, I don't know much about, uh, what does it say? Set A, set B. Okay, so I don't know too much about Chinese Pokemon cards, but that's what's fun about this channel, is I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing. So this is great, all right. I'm going crazy right now. So it looks like the back are, the backs are the same compared to the usual. It's been a while opening up just uh, GX Ultra Shiny or just Hidden Fates. I think the official set is called Hidden Fates in uh, Chinese. Let's see what we can do. Look at that Cubone. Was that even in the original GX Ultra Shiny? I don't even know. 
Very nice energy. Darkrai holographic reminds me of this past Friday's video where someone truly special pulled a shiny Darkrai full art and more cards. Okay, so it's just two cards from the back, I believe is the card trick. Let's just kind of switch it up. Like, just make this whole opening just random, randomize. And then eventually at some point, I'll get into that base set pack. So was it two or was it two from the front? Eh, let's just try it out. Oh, I did it wrong! Or at least because there's a shiny in it. This is cool. This is a very cool note. Just from my observations, these cards look differently printed, like much better quality than uh, just in general, and then a holographic, but just, I don't know if the video will do it justice, but from the Chinese cards, the backs look even a little bit shinier, and just, they, it's just more smoother. It's smoother! Okay, so, uh, let's continue! I want to open up that GX Ultra Shiny box uh, after this, and we'll get into some of those packs as well. Um, I honestly don't know the card trick, just because if there's a shiny, it's probably different, so I'm just going to stick to... The usual EV splashing. Lots of EVs. Okay, there's a guess the energy, guys. Next one, I want to say Psychic, of course. And a big Raticate for that one. And a Memory CD or whatever that was. So, all right, let's get into this. I can't tell you how many GX Ultra Shiny boxes I've opened up in the past couple years. Uh, I still have not pulled a Japanese GX Ultra Shiny Shiny Charizard. So this is going to be fun. This could be like a sort of redemption of pulling it in this type of form. That would be crazy. Overall, I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's get right into it. I used to know the card trick. Uh, of course, Japanese cards are also in incredible print, just so you can see the difference. Obviously, it just looks like English cards, and this is the Japanese. I love the Japanese back better. It's really cool. Uh, let's go. It's Luke Skywalker, Diglett, Froki, and a Rayquaza. There's lots of shiny stuff, and this is why I like the GX Ultra Shiny boxes and sets. They had so much shiny stuff. Copycat, of course. All right. I need to make sure I leave everything in the right way. Oh man, oh man. I wanna make sure I get to every single thing in today's video. Uh, so I didn't get this energy, so I'll say Leaf Energy for the next one. Magikarp, Dragonite Holographic, and Rainbow Energy. So, I'm uh, hoping to pull Shiny Charizard, or basically maybe a Mewtwo. So we did not get the energy. Uh, I'll say Fairy Energy, it's back. <gasps> Look at that. Rhyme not intended. Oh my gosh. Is that not an incredible looking card? The back a little off center, but otherwise it is beautiful. And shiny too. So great pull there. Let's get back into the GX Ultra Shiny. I will have to probably start getting a bit faster at this, but you really, I just love taking the time. Hey, Leafeon! Full art shiny! It's so funny, I just pulled this from the English Hidden Fate set in Friday's video, which y'all should go watch, it's right over there. So a Leafeon full art, it looks beautiful in any language. Oh my gosh, there was a Volkner in there as well. Repeat, there was a Volkner. I forgot to mention, guys, if you're new to the community, please do consider subscribing. Uh, we're well over 900,000 subscribers by this point, and if you can, hit the thumbs up button. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I am just not going to take any time of this quest for the road to a million of eventually us hitting one million subscribers. I'm not going to take any of this time for granted, and I want to just make sure we really just take in all of these beautiful looking cards. Stack Attacka, Shattered Foil, Mimikyu, regular Mimikyu. All right, see that. I don't even, I'm like, I'm kind of lost at uh, what I've opened. I'll open up those theme decks and everything, but we got to get through as many of these packs as we can. Obviously, I'm forgetting about the guest, the energy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Psychic energy for the next one. And the dancing bird. Is this the sea of nothingness? You must say it with emphasis in pizzazz. The sea of nothingness. Alrighty then, let's see if we can get, uh, ooh, lichen rock, very nice. Some d d bodybuilding dumbbells. Do your power kids and recycle, you gotta do that. Uh, what am I missing? I don't think I've opened up a Mewtwo one in a while. 
And uh, let's see, maybe we can get even get a Mewtwo. Ooh, I did not guess Fairy, so I'm gonna guess it now. Actually, I'm changing. Top of the morning, how you doing? I'm gonna change and say that we're gonna pull a Fighting Energy. Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Actually, in that moment of 10 seconds, I just had say metal, say metal, and then of course I said say fighting, but let's see. All right, Psychic Energy. It's getting so difficult to do the guess the energy because every single pack is the energy is in a different spot. All righty then, let's see what we can do in this one. Feromosa, very nice. Glaceon GX, Saturn Foiled Rocket Board, Mount Cornet, which uh, is also a, I believe that is, right? Uh, stadium card. That I pulled in the Hidden Fates opening from Friday! Yay! Yay for Hidden Fates, uh, Cubone, and uh, it's always a like pod, like really positive card right there. But anyway, soon enough I'll get to the base set pack. But let's continue this and uh, see what we can do. Top of the morning again. Very kind of creepy Stranger Things esque card. All right, GX Ultra Shiny. There's still, even though we did pull the Leafy on Full Art Shiny card from GX Ultra Shiny, there still should be, for my recollection, this one more to go. A regular Shiny Pokemon. There still are going to be an uh, Lycoron, but this time in a different form. Alolan Executor, it's always a nice card. And uh, I don't know, so we did pull a trainer, I believe, from Full Art Trainer from this set, but there still could be a Full Art. Or, at this point, I've just been opening up so many packs from different sets, I've kind of lost track. But hopefully, if this is your first time seeing Chinese Hidden Fates, you'll have been enjoying just uh, trying to change it up for you. This is the most intimidating Pokemon in the entire world right there. Uh, Alright, let's get into this Charizard pack. We're actually making some good leeway, ha, huh, pun intended to my name, through these packs. And hey, a Ringuru Shiny, look how rainbowy. Skittles did not sponsor this video, by the way. I will show you all of the pulls so far. Yes, some of them are in Chinese, some of them are in Japanese, like this guy. Oh my gosh, though. It's just like so bright and colorful. And I have just hoping y'all have been enjoying today's opening. Wait, oh, Ultra Necrozma and a Rota. Not too bad. All right, next up, Charizard pack. I really do. Uh, like these packs, and I'm definitely gonna be saving the, the best pack arts from these Chinese Hidden Fates, and that's what I believe the official set is called, is uh, Chinese Hidden Fates, so, we're just Hidden Fates, but in Chinese. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, it's up to no good, Gengar. And uh, as you can see, we're making a little bit faster through these packs. That's a pretty cool looking rock rough, I'll take it and a, another CD memory. I'm not exactly sure of what the name of that card is. Something about CDs and memories and megabytes. Ooh, what do we got here? Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen a Prism Star Solgaleo card and a Froki Shattered Foil Metal Frying Pan and of course the Shrine of Punishment. You have to say it, you have to say it with the pizzazz, with the oomph in it, whenever you get the Sea of Nothingness, or the Shrine of Punishment. Psychic Energy, cue to fly, bibbidi boo, it's a pumpkin boo. Pretty cool Aaron card. Keldeo and more bodybuilding dumbbells. So we got about, of each set, maybe like two to three-ish cards left. Mill tank, Christmas tree, meow stick, and an energy switch card, I believe. Just two more GX Ultra Shinies, and if I'm remembering correctly, we have not pulled, oh, that's cute. We have not pulled another regular, God, there's so many cards in this. How you doing, Cynthia? We have not pulled another one of these types, regular shinies. So it's probably gonna be in this pack. If not, uh, oh well, I guess. But I'm gonna put my call on. I'm gonna put my call in. Uh, we're gonna get a regular shiny um, rock rough, I guess. Oh my gosh, what are the odds? Wait, we now pulled it in two languages. Whoa, Chinese and Japanese. This is actually really cool as we get a Marshadow. And uh, I just wanna show y'all, this, this is great. This is a good comparison. So, just so you can see, the Chinese ones are, even the border is all rainbowy and shiny. The Japanese ones are not, however, but then you're like, oh, the backs, the backs are different. It's like, oh, 
Which one can you like better? I don't know, it's so difficult, but... In any case, uh, two of those shinies have been pulled. We have five more of these to open. And then we're getting into this hack. If you can, hit the thumbs up button, Heart Squad. I'd appreciate it if we can get this video to 9,000 likes. Again, for 900,000 subscribers in this channel, Stunfisk, Ratata, J. And a hey, very nice regular shiny roulette. Not too bad. I got so excited when I first pulled that card uh, in the English Hidden Fade set. Not too crazy or anything. I just, it's a cool looking card. Haunter, it's looking wood. Lunala GX and Cosmoam and how you doing? All right. Holla at your boy Guzma is what I think of when I see that card. What do we got next? A shiny Mewtwo! How about that? A full art shiny Mewtwo! That is incredible! We just pulled the best card, I believe, from that set. It was the Mewtwo set, right? Right? Mewtwo in a Mewtwo pack. That's incredible! Full art shiny Mewtwo. That's beautiful. I don't even know how much this is, but the centering is fantastic on this card. I want to just not touch that card anymore. We got two more of these packs. Once again, just look at how beautiful that artwork is for those. And let's get into these last two packs. The Min Spirit. Oh, it just keeps on getting better. How about that full art shiny Umbreon GX? Altar of the Sun! You also have to have some mm for that card. Oh, I almost dropped it. Goodbye, PSA 10. Oh my gosh, Umbreon GX. That is so beautiful. It's something like I really wish the, hopefully the camera's doing it justice. I even have my desk light here and it, I, I just feel like it's not, but I don't know. Maybe I'll post it on my socials just so y'all can get closer uh, images. And there we go. So overall, before we get into the rest of the opening, uh, how can we beat this other than pulling a Charizard? This was fantastic pulls. And of course, I appreciate y'all for watching as always, but it's time. Let's get into this pack and then we'll get into those theme decks over there. Of course, this is a Chinese pack. Um, I believe I was told the, the card trick is different. Like the holographic should be facing this way. So I'm gonna have to do this this way. I hope it's this way, okay, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, simply not touch the back card because that should be the hollow. I unfortunately uh, can't do the guessing energy now for this one, but let's uh, let's enjoy this. This is my beginning, my attempt, and then I'll be continuing this throughout this entire thing where I call the hashtag Road to a Million, our quest, our journey together as a community of getting to 1 million subscribers to pull Charizard in every single language. Uh, I already pulled it in the most difficult form. First edition, base set English Charizard, and uh, I think this may be energy retrieval? Focus switch thing? Very, very hip and cool Porygon. It's in 3D. That's kind of cool though, just to see uh, how different, like the bottom is like the exact same of regular cards. The border looks the same. Otherwise, it's uh, obviously in a different language. Diglett, Charmander, Chinese. Is this a sign? It could be a sign. Ghastly, Metapod, Doe Duo, is this the rare? And a Devolution Spray. I promise you guys there will be more coming on this channel in my attempt at pulling it. But uh, until then, let's get into, let's get into these. I almost like don't wanna open these. These are just really cool, but uh, I'm hoping there should be a holographic at some point if I can actually open this up. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there's a Charmeleon. He looks really mighty and fine in a non-awkward way. All right, let's get into this and see what comes in said books. It opens up this way. How you doing, Arcanine? And Charmander. That'd be cool if there's a Charmander hollow. Okay, so it's gonna be Minin and Plasso holographics. I'll take that. I've never opened up this rule before. Obviously, it's the equivalent to the English set EX Legend Maker. And 
let us take a look at everything. So there are the counters. Nothing too crazy about that. Very cool coin. It has all of the energies on it. Except not all of them, if you want to be frank. But uh, here are the cards. Um, I don't know if there's going to be too much on the inside. Well, if we have time, I'll get to it. I don't know what that says, but I do know what that says. Pokemon. That would be cool if that was in the red logo as well. But uh, just some really cool cards. I'll try to, I'll try to open this up, actually. Uh, just so y'all can see the artwork. It's just, I guess, a playing board of how to play. Not sure what this is. Also, how to play. And then, here is the actual guide, which has a little innards of it to show you. Very nice Growlithe. It's very cute. It's like my boy Archie, little puppy. And there's a kitty, like my cat Misty. All right, so that was the first one. I promise you we'll probably have time to get into it. I just want to make sure we uh, I equal opportunity as far as getting to the rest of everything in this box that I am very grateful that the anonymous member of the Heart Squad sent for us today. And, oh, there's the back of the box. I guess I don't really show that too often or too fast. And there we go. Very, very nice. Well, this has been quite exciting. There is that. I probably will get to those. These look the same. Is the coin the same? No, the coin's different. It's actually brighter. I like this one better. That's really cool. Because you can actually see the emblems of all the energies and stuff on those. So I really do like those a lot. And I'm very curious about this two-player starter deck. Now, there are... Just so you know, there are at least, I think, like six or seven types of these first edition Machamp cards. I know you all probably have one. Almost all of them have the first edition stamp on it. Now there's one called a Cosmos. Uh, oh God, this seen better days. A Cosmos first edition Machamp, which I don't think it's in this. I think it's actually, and I have them down there. They're base set two two-player starter decks that come with the CD and everything. And that is where the Cosmo Machamp is. Otherwise, yeah, look at that. Still always nostalgic just to see everything like this. Can we go back to the days where we can go to the stores and get all those blister packs of first editions? And uh, this is really cool. So it's a sealed Machamp. It looks like just the regular sparkly one. It's unlimited, which means it is not shadowless, even though almost all of them have the first edition stamp on it. If it was shadowless, and I do have theme decks like this that are shadowless, I just haven't opened them because I'm keeping them sealed, uh, the shadow would not be there. Also, the HP is thinner on shadowless. So this is cool. I'm actually going to uh, just, just to see the actual booklet because the booklets are different based off of what type of starter deck like a print line it is so i'm just curious so it's version three very nice rule book and just so cool with the little faces of professor oak and everything it's just such a such a blast from the past and uh here's the card list it's probably gonna have like base set of course fossil jungle very nice and here are the counters and it looks like this is, read this first. Starter rules, version three. I have not seen this before. Oh, sorry if it's not in focus. Professor Oak, how you doing? It's so cool, the original Professor Oak, Stuart Zagnet, voice actor, uh, was just on the channel the other day. That's so cool. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Just little starter rules. You gotta read it first, guys. You absolutely have to read this first. Alrighty then. So I guess I'm not gonna open this up. Oh, I'm gonna say you probably you've seen these. These are just regular unlimited base set cards. Here is a closer look at the Machamp. Let me get that in focus for y'all. Still beautiful. I'm gonna leave this sealed, even though the centering is a little off from right to left. That's okay. I would like to get into these, but this is just like super, super the plastic wrapping is really tight around the cards and I'm going to do my best not to hurt the cards because you got to believe in the heart of the cards. There it is. Very nice holographic card. I'll go through these fast because eventually they will probably just be energy cards. But until then, Meowth taking a nice walk in the I guess, sunset. They all have like, like it's going to be like on the next cover of a rap album or something. There's an energy potion and uh, some more energy. So there's that one. I'm guessing this one's going to be more or less about the same. 
Let me get this, and that works. Okay, okay, almost there. Don't forget, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Here we go. There is that holofoil. The shiny part is beautiful on that. Oh, so we got some fire Pokemon. Charmeleon, Ralith, Arcanine, Vulpix, always a pleasure. I don't know, is that Bill <laughs> with the glasses? And then it's just some energy. So I believe that is it, HeartSpot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do see the videos right now. Click on them, especially yesterday's. You will enjoy it. My name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, And as always, I'll see y'all next time.